Hey guys, my name is Eric, trainer at CrossFit Portsmouth here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. And we're going to learn the snatch today. So, um, this is a different way to learn the snatch than traditional ways of learning it from the ground up. We're going to start from the top and go down with this movement. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our hands in the correct position. There's a few ways to get yourself into a good snatch grip here. One way is bring your foot up. Make sure your foot's at 90 degrees and have the PVC pipe or your bar right in the crease of your hip here. If it needs to move up, if you need to bend the elbows, bring your arms a little bit wider. We're going to use the hook grip in this position so the thumb comes on the bar, middle finger and index finger, squeeze the thumb onto the bar here. Now the first thing we're going to do to roll through the snatch is I'm going to have you guys go into an overhead squat position with our arms. In this position, I'm going to rotate my elbows up. I'm going to shrug the bar up and pull it apart. Here I'm going to do eight overhead squats, maintaining a lumbar curve, trying to stay on my heels, and pushing the knees out. I'm looking forward and I'm really trying to squeeze my, my biceps up towards the PVC pipe. Now after eight, let's say I just completed eight, I think I did seven on that one, we're going to come down and we're going to go up onto the toes and bring the bar to the chest here. Keeping the elbows above the bar, keeping my hook grip here, I'm going to hold this position for about 20 seconds. Once I complete 20 seconds, I'm going to come down and I'm going to get into my snatch position so my feet are underneath my hips. My elbows are above the bar and the bar is about chest height. Now I'm going to move from this position and get into a full snatch. So from here, I'm going to use my legs to push me underneath the bar. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to complete five reps with this position. So elbows up, bar at the chest height, going underneath the bar using my legs. Now after five snatches, I'm going to bring the bar down and I'm going to get in the hang position. So with the hang, I'm going to make sure my shoulders are in front of the bar, my shins are vertical, my back is nice and tight. From this position, we're going to go into five full snatches from the hang. Now as I go through my snatches, I'm starting my feet hip width apart, finishing my feet shoulder width apart. Also my knees at the beginning are going to push out, so my cowboy stance here. Now each time I set up, I'm making sure I have three cues. Shoulders in front of the bar, knees out, lumbar curve nice and tight. I'm going to add a fourth in, shins are nice and vertical. Alright, so after five snatches from the hang, I'm going to go below the knee, try five more. Creating all those cues again, making sure I have my back nice and tight. Lumbar curves tight, shoulders are in front of the bar, making sure that my feet are flat. And I finish with my feet about shoulder width apart. Now, finally, I'm going to come down and do five reps from mid shin here. Now, at this position, it's really important that my shins are vertical, shoulders are in front of the bar. Again, my back's nice and tight. Coming all the way up and down into the position. Also throughout all these movements, I'm making sure that I'm really getting a good triple extension, coming all the way up, popping my hips through the 